most time when i read the writings of men when i listen to their message when i watch when i watch their videos when i read their books i try to read and hear what they did not write you understand when the holy spirit talks to me i try to hear what it will tell me god come and tell me philip i wanted to live here and go to lagos i'm trying to hear what he didn't tell me like what will happen as you are going but there are other details that are not there god can appear to you and tell you that you will go to the university and you will graduate he didn't tell you which year so you may go <laughs> and the for, the past, the, for the past five years and it's a three or four year course and six years has come <laughs> Oh God, you have graduate. Somebody can make me as apostle. I'm still speaking, you know. And God told me I will graduate. I said, God said, God told me which year. He said, No. I said, No worry. The promise of the will come to pass. God did not lie. God tell you, you graduate from NC. He didn't tell you which year. NC, people are doing two years. You may do five years. And it's still God that said. You know, that's how God works. Try to hear what God did not say. That you can pray for mercy. When God told Moses, you take the people from this place to this place, there was not the other ones. You could have designed them. God show him the glory for you hide that one. The same thing when people sit with you and they're talking, try to hear what they are not saying. It's wisdom that will indicate you. I feel sit down people to counsel them before. And as they are talking, you are hearing the answer to everything they are telling you. It's wisdom. It's part of the seven spirit of God in the book of Isaiah 11. And the spirit of wisdom. Knowledge is an awareness of the truth. Understanding is the assimilation of the truth. Wisdom is the application. You must come to a point where you apply your heart unto wisdom. You must apply. One of the other things that God will give to a man is the anointing. I have said it already. The anointing is God too. For elevating men. When God wants to change a man's life, I'm telling you, he gives him the anointing. The anointing will always make the difference in a man's life. There is no man today that is relevant in God without the anointing. The anointing is not generic, it's different. The anointing is in diverse levels. That's why somebody can pray for this person, he may not be healed. Another person will come and pray, he will be healed. Diversity of the anointing. And it will amaze you. That the person that is coming to pray, that the person will be here may not be as powerful as we quote. Maybe even in stature as the other person. There is a place where stature grants you advantage. But other times it's just defense of anointing. Maybe God has a portion that your healing will only come through evangelist. And you have been coming to me. I lay hands, I lay leg, I lay stomach. You are still the way you are. Evangelist just come and shake and you are healed. Ah, it's the anointing is different. That's why everybody is relevant. You don't believe me. Everybody that God anointed is relevant. See, let me tell you. No matter how anointed you are, no matter how anointed you are, let the anointing be visible, flowing. Let it be radiated on your leg. As you are passing it, they are packing in the ground. There are people that may never like you. There is an audience you may never be able to reach. There are people that don't even care you exist. But they will care. That one guy that is not even as anointed as you are exists. That's how life works. Why? There lies the relevance of somebody that God has helped. No matter how anointed you are, there are people and audience you may not be able to reach. There lies the relevance of somebody that God has helped. Because in different regions, this is my first time coming, coming here, good you right. I will do and go. No matter how much you like me, you still need somebody here that is available. You tell my number, my number. Thing. That's what I'm saying. So no matter how anointed you are, there are people you can never be able to reach. In fact, if you go to my village and ask for certain of these men of God, you don't even know them there. And there are people there. Thousands of them. It's enough for you to have a very good ministry. Let me tell you. Everybody has an audience in God. Everybody. Tell me, the world is too big. 
like too big. That's why when I hear people say, we are taking over, we are taking over, I just laugh. I'm not taking over anything. Yeah, there you are. Because you are 10,000 capacity. And you are taking over. Taking over what? Let's be. See, Lagos has a population of about 20 million people. An average church in Lagos, the highest, Dada, 1 million people, which is redeemed, right? Are they taking over? They are still where they are. Let me tell you, it's not even up to 10% of the people in Lagos. And that one million is at least in all this Holy Ghost. That conversion. We are not taking over. When you come to Latvia, or let's just imagine how many people are in Nasarawa State. How many millions of people? An average church in Nasarawa State, I have not seen the one that has 15,000 people seated. Maybe let's say 20,000 people. And you have people close to 5 million people in the state. You are shouting, you are taking over. Oh God, you are not taking over anything. You should weep and cry. You have been taking over. Not that you are taking over. That's why darkness has a few day. We have remained in our level of comfortability. As long as the money keeps going. Of course, if you have 1,000 members, it's enough for you not to beg for food. Is that enough? Is that what the kingdom wants? Is that the reason why Jesus Christ died? Okay, you have not taken over yet. You have been conquered. You need to be delivered. That's why I tell you, everybody is ready. We need times, 10,000 times, 10 people. We need millions of people that are very powerful and relevant. That's why all these competition people do is a waste of time. I've been to places where they don't know some of the big, big men of God you ever know. They don't, know, they don't even care they exist, but they don't believe them. I met the people. Maybe they don't like Oedepo. They don't like Iadeboe. They don't like Kumui. They don't like this person. They don't like this person. But they say they like me. And I say there is a problem somewhere. There are people that may never like all your mentors, but they will like you. You don't even know the reason. Why? Because anointing is diverse. Anointing is very different. The anointing is part of the tool that God gives a man to advance the kingdom. So somebody may have the anointing here, he'll be like there. He may not be like another person, another place, no problem. Of course, the apostolic grace gives me acceptability everywhere. I'm coming here for the first time. Many of you like me. You are hardly somebody here that hates me. But let me tell you, what I mean is this. I may not always be relevant here. We still need people here. Let's not be that after I go and go the past line. No. Let there be men here that can be effective to If everybody in the whole world has only you, there's a problem. You can't live tomorrow. You may die that same day. Because somebody will take your ear, somebody will take your eye, somebody will take your this. I went for one meeting, people were just carrying, they were tearing the clothes, they were carrying my leg, carrying it. I said, there's a problem somewhere. Why? Only me. Why? Why? It's a pain. If you see hungry people, eh? I have seen some hungry people in my life. It gets me afraid. Sometimes when I come to place and I see hunger and desperation of men, I get afraid. I'm like God, why not just you know, it's like the cry of Moses. Just pour out the spirit upon these people. So I used to wonder why we don't just God just raise a thousand of people like us. I told my people there, like I said, if God can raise just 30 people like me with the kind of body I have, it's enough. Sometimes you hardly find one or two. Because the process is very hard. Many cannot go through the crucible. Many cannot prevail. That's why we have few supermen. We are not supposed to be supermen. There are no supermen in this kingdom. God does not raise supermen. He only raise men that he has helped. When you go to Lagos, you see all kinds of churches. Yet there are more carnal people there. You can go with your phone and come back without your phone. But there are churches every day shouting they have taken over. They have not. Printing banners and flyers everywhere. We 
need to hear it from God. Everyone in your church needs to be anointed. Everyone. The anointing is not just only for the pastor. If everyone is anointed from the choir to the usher to everybody. Lagos will change. If many church members are demoniac. No one called demoniac. They are heavily possessed. And we cannot cast out them because we believe that the demonic is a psychology. That being possessed is a psychology. That is a mindset. When people are possessed. No prayer, nothing, nothing. How can they be relevant? No power, no wisdom, no anointing. That's why they remain the way they are. We need God to truly help. Now it amazes me. What's that thing, God? One day, the other day there was going to be on Sunday. I said, let me just go to Kenan land. I went to Ota. We drove into our tower with a couple of friends. And while we entered the, the place, the ghost snow was too much. And it amazes me to see how people were living. They were leaving our tower to go to inside Lagos. Maybe from that altar side, they were going inside Lagos. No tower is open. I'm like, look at Canaan land, just five minute walk to your from your house. But as powerful as the idea for East, some people will prefer to leave that place and go to one small church that has maybe 30 members. I'm telling you, they believe in that pastor that nobody even knew him. There is a for there. The richest prosperity was there, but they don't care. With them, they believe he's not even a man of God. So you see the ghost low because others are living left, others are going right, others are going left. There's some people that are living there and going to redemption camp in Legacy by the Express Road in Moe. You see Ia Deboe. Just by Ia Deboe, there is a mountain of fire. Dr. Olukoya. And people food there too. No matter how Ia Deboe is anointed, there are people that say they don't agree without anointing. They move to mountain of fire. As powerful as mountain of fire, guy is. As powerful as mountain of fire or look where is, people say, I don't agree with this one. They move to deeper life. As powerful as deeper life is, some people say, I don't agree with this one. They move to redemption camp. That's how the thing works, my brother. To amaze you in the same in the same house. Everybody go to different churches. Everybody believe in different pastors. <laughs> they are not in the stage, my friends. It's in diverse manner. It's when we meet in heaven that we we'll attend cold meeting and laugh about this. But the anointing makes a man relevant. Somebody may not like you. Another person will want to take a bullet for you. Don't kill yourself. I get what I'm saying now. There, are, there is an audience meant for you. There are people that will just want to listen to you. When the book can never take your members. You can never. Except they are not your members. They will leave the church. But left of people, even if they are walking inside that redemption camp, inside that uh, Canaan camp, they will carry their loot and pack out of there and go to church outside and come back and sleep inside. That's how it works. The same way, this is a Catholic church facility. There are people that their house is just close here. They will leave here and spend 200 naira and go to one church that is very far. As far as they are they may even beg for the money to go. Well, there are some people that are coming from very far, very far, just to come and fellowship here. Why? Anointing divas. You are relevant. Because somebody is relevant doesn't mean you cannot. You will be. Let me tell you. During those times of them cattle, come and the rest, nobody knew whether people like them, Babalola, Abi, them, Persidosa uh, will rise. Nobody knew. But the holes. When Bensi Daosa, Babadola were alive. People like them, Justice Sleeman, Pastor Chris, all these other ones, they were boys. They were cleaning shoes. But their life looked as though it's useless. There was not too much hope. When those other men were strong, them, during those times that Pastor Chris, around 2000, when Pastor Chris was like a spirit, 
Forget now that he's very calm. That time, empty everywhere. I don't believe that man was a human being. Pastor Chris. Hey. Those times. Where were people like the Bishop Sama? What is it? Nobody believed they could become anything. While they were relevant, I was serving. Serving diverse quarters. Serving Koina, serving different places. That time in Koina, if you see us, that time in Koina around 2009. Who knows me if you himself has become like this? Ow! Ow! It's just like acting at the how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and leaving all that were oppressed with them. How? It was a question. How did it happen? I never knew I would be like this. I'm telling you, I never knew. We were the very shy guys, the timid guys. They say, come and stand. <laughs> nobody never, nobody knew us. Some of us we are serving selflessly. I never even dream of all of this I'm even seeing now. The time came. I begin to see a glimpse of a glimpse of a glimpse of. Here we are. Same thing I'm talking to you right now. We will not remain here forever. All of you here will become relevant. I assure you. That I know. I'm telling you. There is what I call vacancy in this people. From what I have told you now, you know there is a lot of vacancy. Sat down with my friends sometimes and let's not just clap for ourselves for what we are doing in Latvia. There's more need to be done. Look at the population of Latvia. We are taking over. It's a lie. We have been conquered. We are just trying to preserve a remnant. It's a remnant. Everybody is just a remnant. It's a remnant now. That last surviving seed royal that can be used again. That you save. They are anointed, very pivotal. You must like. You must. I put a message, protocol of the anointing. You must subscribe to the anointing if you must survive. Without the anointing, you will be a challenge. The anointing has the ability to break the yokes of darkness in your life. If God wants to make you ready, but give you a tool called the anointing. And that anointing at least makes sufficient enough to telling you doesn't matter whosoever is available in the body of christ the anointing is different it's the same grace but diversity in the anointing other time the same kind of anointing but it has differences in grace and in function everybody can sing you too you will sing your singing will be different everybody can preach you to can preach your preaching will become different the anointing i'm telling you it's the anointing the anointing. The anointing is amazing. 